All right, all right, all right. Got a pretty exciting puzzle today. As exciting as puzzles can get. The Danlock. Hey, look, there's a card. The Danlock, a puzzle by Dan Feldman. Let me go ahead and get it out before I look at that card anymore. Let's just show that Dan Lock. Beautiful. So sequential discovery puzzles are ones that, you know, you go through step by step and along the way you'll discover some sort of tool or tools that will help you move on to the next step. Um, so that's what sequential discovery puzzles are. I've only been interested in puzzles for about a year or so, but uh, when you get into it, you know, there's a, there's a few names that stand out or a few puzzles. You know, I've done a couple of the Will Strebo's puzzles. Those are those are popular, but then you've got the Dan Lock as well. Um, so I've been excited about this one. As you can see, it's just a looks like a normal old padlock. It's got the keyhole. It's got a locked shackle, and then you've got a key stuck on the shackle, and then there's a little key ring with these two parts of a broken key. And with that, I guess I should read the card that came with it. So open the lock and then put all the pieces back together. Pretty standard. Um, do not use force or any external tool. Use just the lock and the provided keys. Do not use the metal ring that holds the two broken parts. And also do not use the bag. So I can't use the bag. That's a shame. I was looking forward to it. Uh, contains some small parts. So I guess I should start by just removing these broken pieces. Let's do that. So I've got the broken piece and fits together as expected. And let's see if they're the same as this key. Huh. Let's just check this part first. Looks like they line up pretty good. I think. Yeah. Yes. And if I add this piece, it's a little bit hard to add. Looks roughly the same. Once I get it off there, maybe I'll be able to uh, compare easier. So, doesn't open. The obvious thing to do is to put this in here. I'm a tiny bit scared it'll get stuck. Um. <laughs> but I, I kind of want to do it anyway. I think that'd be pretty terrible puzzle design if you give someone a broken key and then it breaks the puzzle if they actually put it in. So let's do it. That was that was a fail. It's in. Doesn't go all the way in. Huh. Oh, now it's all the way in. Just had to twist it a little bit. Okay. Now let's, ah, uh, let's see, will that come out? Nope, that's not coming out. All right, well, we've committed. It's in there. Might as well push it in a little bit further. And nothing happens. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh! It went in farther. Maybe I was just bad last time. Alright, it turned. Oh, well that was easy. Puzzle solved. I win. Um, just kidding. So, so that's half the puzzle, I guess. So getting it open was easy enough. And then you have to get it back together. And, uh, 
the obvious problem is that I've still got the piece of the key stuck in there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to lock it. You can always try spinning. If at first you don't succeed, spin. So when I was describing the sequential discovery, so that's kind of what this means, you know, I've, I started out with the broken keys, now I've unlocked it, and I now have the key ring, which it explicitly told me not to use. Um, and I've got this key, and I guess I do have the shackle, so that's not gonna do anything for me. Maybe this is a... Nope. I had high hopes for a second that this was going to unscrew. And it's not a magnet. I can't pull it apart. Hmm. <clears throat> Just looking if there's any sort of super uh, hidden seams in there or anything. Nope. Doesn't do anything, doesn't even look like it would turn. Oh, it turns the other. Oh, you sneaky. You sneaky Dan Feldman. Look at that. They reversed the threading, so you have to turn it clockwise to loosen it. Oh, look at that. Another tool. Um, I did notice in the little locking mechanism, there's that little opening there there's like a little slot that this looks like will fit yeah i feel like i'm just gonna end up breaking this thing oh okay 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 all right, so this is out. Okay. Progress again. So now we've got the lock body. We've got the shackle. We've got this piece of the shackle. We've got the broken key. And we've got the non-broken key and the key ring. And we need to get this back in there, the shackle and the lock locked with this key on here. Not remove the key when it's in the unlock position. So that's a shame. Hmm. All right. So. I think I do wonder if I if it's already unlocked is it easier to lock like if I could get this key out and then get it on the shackle wrong one get the key out get it on the shackle turn it in I wonder if if it's already unlocked if I could use this broken piece to lock it so maybe now that it's unlocked there's some way to get this key out
The teeth seem to be identical. Oh, it's backwards. It's backwards. Okay, so the broken piece, the teeth are... Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, so the teeth are on this side closest to me. So this side is flush. And it's got this groove here, but the teeth are flush with this part. On this one, the teeth are on the side furthest from me. So they're flush with this back part. So what does that tell me? jiggling motion upside down. Oh, it turned. No way. Ah! Moment of truth is can I remove the key? Boom. What in the world? Second moment of truth is can I lock it with this broken key? And the answer is yes. Okay, I think that solves it then. I unlock it with the big key, remove the key, reassemble everything, lock it with the broken key. So how did I get it open? That's amazing. Upside down key, about halfway or so. Oh, this puzzle's so, so cool. That's awesome. How does that work? I don't know enough about uh, about locks to know how that would work. That's amazing. All right. We're locked. That was an awesome puzzle. Very clever. A few clever things. The hidden little needle with the reverse threading. The upside down key situation. The, uh, the broken key that you have to get out. And I didn't even notice at first, but you also have to have a uh, the keyhole on the bottom, it seems, to even unlock it. So I got lucky with that, I think. Just kind of just kind of worked. But it's an extra factor, I guess. All right. That was a good puzzle. The Dan Lock. You've you've served me well. I see what uh what all the hype was about. Um all right. Well, we'll see which puzzle I end up doing next time. As always, Thanks for watching.